Auzubillahiminashaitanirajim, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim, Walhamdulillah, Wa Salatu Wa Salam, Allah Ashrafil Anbiya'i Wal Mursalin, Sayyidina Wa Nabiyina Wa Habibina Wa Maulana, Muhammadin Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Salam, Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahabihi, Wa Manhita Dabi Huddahum Ila Yawmidin. Fa'ina Asudakal Hadithi Kitabullah, Wa khairan hadi, hadi yu Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa salam, wa shara al-umuri muhdathatuha, wa kula muhdathatin bidi'a, wa kula bidi'a dolala, wa kula dolala tin finna. Rabbi shrali sadri, wa yasrili amri, wa hululu kudeta amil nisani, ya wuka wukali. Rabbi latu akhizni mima yakulun, wa kfili mala yalemun, wa jalli khairan mima yazunun. Ama bad. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to the House of Dua and welcome to the channel from which you learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about his creation, about his message, about his messenger, and of course about his chosen religion of Al-Islam. Welcome to the channel from which you learn simple rules that will enable you to succeed in the world we live today and we enable you to succeed even more when you meet Allah on the day of accountability. These rules are derived from this book. This is a book full of commandments from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you and guide me and guide everyone in this planet so that we will be successful in this world and we will be successful when we meet Allah on the day of accountability. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, welcome to day number seven of the month of Dhul Hijjah. The first ten days of the month of Dhul Hijjah are days like no other days. They are days that good deeds we do are rewarded by Allah manifold. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on the month of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, no deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the deeds done in the first 10 days of the month of Dhul-Hijjah. As I said previously, our brothers and sisters are now in Mecca. Some are performing Umrah, some are combining Umrah with the Hajj, some are prepared to do the Hajj alone. If you are not one of them, don't you think you need to do something, just as you sit down at home? Because there are many things you will do you will even get the reward of the one who performed the Hajj. Unfortunately, there are some of us who are in the Hajj right now. Their minds are not even there. How can they come home with Hajj Mabu? But you are at home. Your mind is there. You wish that you are there. In such a case, you will even get the reward of those who perform the Hajj. If you are able to do some good deeds that will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love you. There are many people who would have wished to perform this year's Hajj, but they are not able to do so because of some issues here and there, because of circumstances beyond their control. Let me assure such people that they have not lost anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant them reward as if they actually perform the Hajj. For as long as they have already met all the prerequisites for performing the Hajj. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward such people abundantly. My dear brothers, my dear sister, while you are at home, you can do several stuff. Read the Quran, more importantly. Do salawat. Do victory. Do sadaka. Do any other amal uswala. Righteous deeds that will give you reward from Allah. Allah says, in this month and other sacred months of the year that Allah created, at the very minimum, do not engage yourself in sinfulness. But Work hard so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. Today we are coming to you with a unique presentation. The story of Zachariah. It is unique in the sense that the message connected with the life of Zachariah is a message that touches all of us. Therefore, we need to understand it very well. We need to understand how Zachariah behaved in such a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to emulate him. As I have stated, Revelations in the Quran about the Anbiya of Allah, the prophets and messengers of the past, are of different categories. Allah, in His infinite wisdom, had drawn our attention to the resistance, to the attack, to the opposition some of the messengers received. 
while delivering the message. And to the intransigence and the hypocrisy of many of those to whom they were sent. And they earned the anger of Allah. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed them. So he wants us to learn that lesson so that we don't resist the message Allah has sent through this Quran to Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala so that we don't suffer the same consequences. In addition to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed messages in the Quran reminding us of the personal struggles some messengers face. This time around, the focus is not on the message they delivered or how the people received them. No, it's about their personal struggles. One of such messages is what we brought to you yesterday, the story of Ayub. Today we are bringing you the story of Zachariah, alayhi salam. But who was Zachariah? Zachariah, alayhi salam, in the Bible, is also known as Zachariah. And he was the father of Yahya, alayhi salam. And Yahya in the Bible is known as John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus Christ, alayhi salam. And you know that Jesus Christ himself was the forerunner of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala, alayhi salam. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, we are talking of people who lived not too long ago, even though their stories sound to some of us nowadays as a thing of the long past. They were human beings like us, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used them to teach us lessons. Zechariah alayhi salam, by way of origin, is traceable to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, the grandfather of most of the Ambiya of Allah. Zechariah alayhi salam has some qualities. First of all, that all of us need to pay attention to. He was not a very rich person. In fact, he was a poor person. But then, he was somebody who cared for the poor, who takes somebody's problem far and above his own. He was very kind and gentle. That's the career, alayhi salam. The reason why we are stressing this is, Allah's favor does not come by chance. No, you got to make yourself loved by Allah. You got to have a good character. You got to be somebody that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, you know what? I think I'm going to use this person to bring changes to mankind. Yeah, you have to qualify for it. All the Ambiya of Allah, even before they became messengers, they had one uniqueness of goodness in them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala identified. Imagine the mother of Jesus Christ, Mary Amalia has salam. The angel didn't just go to her by chance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for Miriam, Hasunat Farajaha, Fana Fakana, Fehe, Merohena, Faswadda Katbi Kalima, Tiradiha, Wakutubi, Waka, Nat Minan Kaneti. Mariam was chosen above any other woman of her kind because of her chastity. She was chaste. She didn't mess up like many other girls or women of nowadays are found to be doing. May Allah forgive her sins. My dear brothers, my dear sister, Zakaria alayhi salam had personal struggles. He married like many of us do, but they didn't have children. Reports say they were above 90 years old before mercy of Allah shined upon them. How did they handle that? How were they so patient? What were they doing? And what do we do nowadays when we are faced with that kind of problem? We are talking of delay in having children. This is not even a total denier. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give some people in abundance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can even give those who do not want, who are not asking for. It's up to him to do whatever he wants to do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can delay giving you, even though you need it urgently and you are pleading for it. Now, that's one of what I may not even grant you that favor at all for reasons best known to him. In Surah Ashura, which is chapter 42 of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Lelahe moloko samawati wanan yakuluku ma yasha Yahabuliman yasha inata Yahabuliman yasha zuku How you are with your own zukura now inata Yajaluma yasha hakima in no alemu kadi. The entire dominion of the heaven and the earth 
belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He created them, he sustains them, he controls them to whom they shall account. And when it comes to childbearing, he gives to whoever he wants to give. He creates whatever he wants to create. He gives children to people. Give boys or give boys and girls either at the same time or at different times or give girls only or may not even give at all. Yeah, he has the power to do so. Gender selection is not in your hand, it's in the hands of Allah. And those who are disappointed by what they expect, they go ahead committing sin. If Hannah, the wife of Imran, had gone ahead to kill Maryam Amali, her salam, just because she was expecting a boy, but she got a girl, she wouldn't know she was killing the mother of one who will become one of the most beloved prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's not be disappointed when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us a favor. And that favor is not what we actually ask for. He has a reason for doing whatever he has for. In the case of Zakaria alayhi salam, himself and his wife, they needed children. But they didn't have children early in life. But did they give up? No. To them, creation is in the hands of Allah. Having children is a favor from Allah. So they were supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did they think of any other alternative? The answer is no. Nowadays, somebody gets married, within one year there's no pregnancy. We are talking of in vitro fertilization. We are talking of going to Babalawos, Juju makers, magicians to find alternatives. That was not the style of Zakaria alayhi salam. That's not the lesson Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to learn from his life. Zakaria alayhi salam. And his wife was steadfast. The name of his wife was not mentioned, but was a beloved woman who stood with her husband in the face of this travis. What happens nowadays when four years, five years after marriage, there's no child to show for it? People go ahead and divorce, crash a marriage that was brought together with great expectation and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are wrong steps that we take. But Zachariah and his wife did not take that step. They were praying to Allah. Many of you who are favored to have children think that it's not a big deal. And you get some people going as far as saying, you know what? It's an unwanted pregnancy. Therefore, I'm going to terminate it as I feel like. You don't know the favor Allah has done for you. If you don't value light, check out how darkness looks like. If you don't value sleep, check out how insomnia or sleeplessness looks like. As people who are having that problem, you who is favored by Allah with a child or children, you don't know what he has done for you. You are not in a position to know what the person who desires the children has not gotten it. You don't know what he or she is going through. It causes sleeplessness, emotional depression. It causes self-questioning. Yes. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, therefore, to grant children to those who are striving to have children. Those who will be in a position to guide their children to the straight path. Yeah, Allah grant them children that will be created even for them. Yeah, Allah extend your mercy to them by the honor of these first 10 days of the month of Dulhijjah. Grant those who need children, who are in a position to look after children and guide them to your straight path. Yeah, Allah grant them children that will be created even for them. And dear brothers and dear sisters, Zakaria alayhi salam was calling on Allah ceaselessly secretly. Do you think it's a problem that you can mention in the marketplace? Do you want people to know about it? No. Same thing with him. He didn't want people to know about it. So he was calling on Allah every day, secretly, asking Allah to grant him children. So he told Allah, I will not give up on you, even though you have not granted me what I needed. Yes, another character of Zakaria. Patience. Patience. When you are seeking from Allah, you must be patient. The Prophet Allah says, Allah will not reject your supplication if you stay patient. Yours is to ask. Allah's is to grant. You are not the one to decide for Allah when he will grant and how he will grant. So let's take note of that. Zechariah was calling on Allah. The mention of Zechariah in the Quran can be found in Surah al imran and Surah Maria. That is, Chapters 3 and 19 of the Holy Quran. In Surah Maryam, chapter 19 of the Quran, Allah says, 
Zikiru Rahamati Rabbi Kab Gon Zakariya is Nada Rabbon Nida Kafiyan Kola Rabbi Me Wuhana Azamu Me Me Washtala Rasun Sheba Walem Akum Bidua Ikarabi Shekiyan Woye Ne Kif Tuluma Wale Ame Warae Oka anat murati akiran fabuli min ladunka waliyan ya rifumi wa ya rifumi ali yakub wa jali hum rabbi rabbiya Here is a mention of the life of Zakaria that all of you need to pay attention to and learn lesson from. But before then, Allah mentioned five letters of the Quran that no one knows the meaning of. Aya I saw nobody knows the meaning of those letters, but they must mean something. He has a reason for saying them. Perhaps to tell you the significance of what he wants to tell you. Here is the mention of Zakaria alayhi salam. For all of you to learn lessons from him. He called on Allah and told Allah. I'm very old. My hair is now gray. My bones are weak. And still, I don't have any children. Yeah, Allah, I need children who will continue the path of worshiping you. I need children who will continue the theme, the tradition that I found myself, tradition that began with our great father, Ibrahim alayhi salam. That is Islamic monotheism. He needed a child who would continue in that line to serve Allah. And more importantly, he told Allah, I need children that will be loved by you. Take note of that, my dear brothers and sisters. When we are making decisions to have children, what do we say? We need children that will be rich, that will bring money home, that will inherit our property. But Zakaria needed children that will be loved by Allah, that will serve Allah. That is the goal. What your children will become later is not your decision. That's the decision of Allah. First of all, look for children that will be of great service to Allah. Who will continue this thing? My dear brothers and dear sisters, the career, God on Allah. He called on Allah several times, days and nights. Only Allah knows how long it was. For them, you know, when rain comes, drought will go away. When the mercy of Allah finally fell on him, it was as if he never went through this problem. Allah gave him the best of the best. Not only a child, but that child, Sayyidan, Ohasura, Onebiya, Mina Swali. A child who was going to be a leader of mankind. A pure human being that people would love to be like. And who was going to be a prophet of Allah. And who was going to be among the righteous. On the day of accountability, we will be in our people, our Jannah to free us. May Allah count us among them. That was the kind of a child that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Zakaria after Zakaria had struggled for a long time. If you go to Surah Al Muran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, This honor finally came to Zakaria when he undertook the responsibility of looking after an orphan. Maryam Ali has salam. Her mother has passed away. Her father had passed away even before she was born, just like Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. But who will raise this orphan? The career finally decided to do so. Allah says it was when he was executing this assignment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angels to him finally to announce to him that he was going to have a child. My dear brothers, my dear sister, who are struggling to have children, take note of that. Find out around you if you can have an orphan to help, or to even raise up to success. Allah may shine his mercy upon you because of that. Imagine Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, Halima to Shadia, who witnessed Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, told us how the mercy of Allah came upon her after she had picked up Muhammad, who was rejected by other women because there was no father, no mother to pay for the wet nursing. But Halima told us that when she picked up Muhammad, since there was no other alternative, she realized that something was amazing. Her life changed overnight. 
as our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bring favor upon those who contribute to raising the orphans. Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, it's beautiful that he says, whoever can raise an orphan until that orphan is able to fend for himself or herself, himself and that person will be like these two fingers on the day of accountability. In other words, the person will be so close to him in the natural field house. Maybe in Arab, he could Allah. May Allah make it so for us. These are the lessons we learn in the life of Zachariah. So in Surah al Moran, Allah says, It was when Zachariah alayhi salam went out to look for food for Maryam alayhi salam and came back and found Maryam alayhi salam eating food that was not even in season, a little infant. That was what amazed Zachariah. He asked Maryam alayhi salam, Anna, lucky Haza, how did you get this food? Call it who I may in the la and a la Yazakuman Yesha, I will be getting a sap. Made a toza career, lay his salam. But this was from Allah, the one who gives in abundance without reckoning. That was what motivated the career to continue ceaselessly in his prayer. And for now that even Malaika or who are Kaim or Yusuf, I live in Mihira. Allah said, We send the angels, and the angels call upon him. Do you know where the angel met Zachariah? Inside the Mihirab. And Mihirab is like a masjid. That's where he met Zachariah. I didn't meet Zachariah in the business center. I didn't meet Zachariah in the shopping center. I didn't meet Zachariah in the sporting game arena. He didn't meet Zachariah fighting with people. No. He met Zachariah supplicating to Allah. Nowadays, we are looking for something from Allah. We are outside. Chasing materialism of this world. Who are you deceiving? So the angel came to him there and told him, In Allah, you bash your cabi, I am, so I become a cali matim in Allah, or say down, or has run, or nebi, I am, in Allah. Allah has had your call. And Allah has asked me to tell you that you are going to have a child known as Yahya. It was Allah who gave him the name Yahya, John the Baptist. Yes. And this child is going to be a leader, is going to be pure, and is going to be a Nabi, a prophet. If you were the one who received such news, how will you feel? Zachariah was overtaken. Zachariah was overtaken with joy. I told the angel to ask Allah. Ask Allah, when am I going to have the child when I'm already old? My wife is adjudged to be barren. How is it going to be possible? Allah said, don't worry about that. That's easy for us. What about you who created you in the first instance out of nothing? That's in Surah Maryam. Out of nothing you were created. You are not asking me how is it going to be possible? Don't worry about that. Allah does whatever he likes. Again, he was a siren. He called on Allah. Oh, Rebbe, Jalili, Aya. Oh, Allah, grant me sign. How do I know that is going to happen? Allah told him. Aya, Tika, Allah, Tika, Lima, Nata, Salasa, Aya, Ami, La, Ramza. Was to Rabaka, Ketera, Wasabi, Binashi, Oli, Ibuka. He told Zakaria. Three days are coming. You will not be able to speak anymore. When that sign happens to you, then you know that your wife has taken him. She's, she's now pregnant. And when it happens, you know how to respond to Allah. When Allah grants you favor, do you know how to respond? Allah told Zechariah, Remember Allah. Thank Allah. In the night and in the evening. All day long. Night and day. Continue to thank Allah. This is a special favor. Now, nah, this one we have children. Who do we thank? Doctor, nurses, Babalao, magician, Mala, Sheikh. No, thank Allah. Thank Allah. Allah is the owner of favor. He grants to whoever he wants to grant. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, these are the lessons we learn in the life of Zachariah. We ask Allah to make the lessons beneficial to us. We ask Allah to put us in a position where we can call on Him and He accept our call. Ya Allah, truly, those who are expecting to have children, but they don't have it. They need it, yeah, Allah. Grant them. By the honor of these first 10 days of the month of Al-Hijjah, have mercy upon them. Grant them righteous children that will help to carry this thing forward. <laughs>
Kona kalau mabiang dik, masih ada lain-lain lah, masih tu kau nak tu dulu, ambil.